back in May of 2018 um, after being married for about uh, three years. Um, my husband um, and I separated for four months. I was actually here at the church when I got the news. Um, I actually, I called my husband, uh, you know, as I was getting ready to leave or, you know, see how his day is going. Um, and that's when he told me that he had left. You know, she called me and I gave her the news. I mean, it just, it just crushed me because she was crying and she was so upset. And it wasn't my intention to hurt her. I just, you know, I was just in a place that I, I just didn't know where I was. Through the entire process of my, you know, the entire time that my husband was gone, um, I had taken a month off from work. I was here at the church every single day, praying and believing and having faith. And I knew that this was not supposed to be our story. I remember coming to church one Sunday and the Lord speaking, and or the pastor speaking about uh, the prodigal. And that same morning, I had a devotion about the prodigal. And then somebody on another platform had sent me something about the prodigal son. And so, that for me was like confirmation. I knew it was the Lord speaking to me, and I knew that my husband would be returning. I later sent that message to my husband, like in a text message, not even knowing if he would be responding back to me. And he did respond. And so because prior to that, he wasn't talking to me. He wasn't like even texting me back or if I'd ask him questions, like he'd avoid some of the questions about the relationship. But that moment was like, he was ready to talk to me. Well, I'm a stubborn person and I'm big enough to admit it. Um, I didn't make it easy for Mary to contact me. I felt so bad. So I knew how much I hurt her, but I was hurting too. I, I just, I d didn't like, you know, where our relationship was at. And, you know, I, I didn't really handle things right. You know, I should have talked to her. And I just, but I'm so thankful that she didn't let me go. <laughs> God brings people together and, and marriages together. Um, and, you know, I just want to say it's important that you fight for your marriage. You fight for, you know, what the Lord has brought together. And don't let anything or anyone come between that.